Hello everyone. This is a tutorial video showing how to build a hollow sphere out of 60 hollow mini spheres, each of which requires 60 Zen magnets. C. Brian Four produced a popular YouTube video that shows the shape but does not show how to build it. After trying and failing a couple of times to build it, it is a bit delicate. I employed a couple of tricks that helped me to succeed and I thought I would share them with you. The amazing thing about this shape is that the big sphere has the same symmetry as each of the mini spheres. They are both rhombicosa dodecahedra with 20 triangular faces like an icosahedron. Here's a triangular face. 12 pentagonal faces, like a dodecahedron, and 30 square faces that fill in the gaps. You can see the same thing here. Here's a pentagonal face, a square face, and a triangu triangular face. It's a really, really pretty shape. The mini spheres are the subject of Zen Magnets Contest number 14. The winner built one of these in 18.4 seconds using the following technique. You take a chain of magnets, build a pentagon ring, and then go around the outside of it in the opposite direction putting a, a ring of 10 around the ring of 5 and then go the opposite direction putting a ring of 15 around the ring of 10 like that. And that gives one half of the shape. Do this exact same thing again. It's kind of flaky at the start once you finish it, you get your row of 10. And then here's one of 15 going the opposite direction. And then these two hemispheres are joined, not at the points that you might have guessed, but offset by two. And then following it around like that. The other way you can build this shape is from 12 pentagon rings like this. And you just snap them together This is probably the most um, popular way of building the shape, but not quite as fast as the two hemisphere method that I just showed you. But the bottom line is you get this rhombicosa dodecahedron shape. Then the next step, you need 60 of these mini spheres, and then you're going to join three of them together to form triangles. And I'm going to join this pentagonal face to this pentagonal face. And then for the third magnet, you're going to do the same. You're going to join pentagonal faces. So we've got pentagonal faces between these two, these two, and these two. So what you see now here is 20 of these triangles, or 60 of the mini spheres. All right, now we're going to assemble these 20 triangles into this sphere of spheres. And the way that this will be done is to join square faces. One, two, three, four magnets here, four magnets here, with square faces on a neighbor. They come together like that at a little bit of an angle. And then we're going to go around a complete circle doing the same thing, joining square faces to square faces. So 
So this now is five of these triangles. And to make life, life easier on ourselves later, since this is a bit of a delicate shape, we're going to uh, use a little bit of scaffolding. Just during the process of building, so we don't have to be quite so careful and worried about jostling this thing as we, as we go. So this is just a piece of, um, of poster paper that I'm wrapping around this shape and securing with a piece of masking tape. Here's one of the former triangles. I'm going to attach this triangle to that. As you can see, this extra, the scaffolding, the second layer of scaffolding, probably is not even necessary. Just tighten it down a little bit. I had it a little bit too loose. Imagine you could try it without the scaffolding. Then, continuing on, here's a triangle. I'm going to add another one onto that. Remove the scaffolding. Get a, a sphere of spheres. It's a little bit delicate, so if you're lifting it, you want to support it by as many spheres as you can.